Oh, hi! This week, we're doing something really quick, and when I say quick, I like legit mean quick this time. I am in Granite Con, Granite State Comic Con prep mode. Con Crunch is on. I know that usually applies to cosplayers, but I want to show you how to make the little dice bags that I make, because I thought for sure I did a video on this. And as I seem to be the scrap queen, is that like an eco-friendly trap queen? This is a really great way to use leftover fabric from other projects because it takes up two pieces this big. You can obviously make it bigger or smaller if you want. This is just the size that works for me. I even have a little pattern piece, but it's just an isosceles triangle. Is that where all the sides are even? I keep waiting to drink my coffee until the instant I have put lipstick on this week. Living that glam life. Okie doke, motherfuckers, let's do this. So you're gonna need two pieces of fabric that are the same size triangle. I would call one the lining, but both layers are gonna be pretty exposed, so just make sure you like both fabrics. Sometimes I use a lining fabric for something where it's otherwise garbage fabric, but I just wanna use it up for something and it won't see the light of day. You're also gonna need some kind of ribbon. I have a shitload of this gold rickrack and it's really narrow. Oh, well, actually, maybe this will work better. And then you're also gonna need some kind of bead. And listen, I was a 10 year old girl once, so I have a fuckload of pony beads. I'm gonna use these glittery dark purple ones. You can also tell how anal retentive I've always been because these are all sorted by color and type of shine. Where I have some pearlescent ones, some metallic ones, and then the glitter ones, and they're all in separate compartments. Way to go, baby me. And you're also gonna need matching threads, sewing machine, scissors, pins, maybe? Probably, definitely pins. Maybe also a marking tool. You be as professional as you want to be about this. Also, I know the lighting is a little different in this. I don't have my studio lights up. Everything's in chaos. I am three days away from doing Granite Con, by the way. I'm filming this on the 11th of September 2019, so if you're anywhere near Manchester, New Hampshire, the weekend of the 14th and 15th, so this coming Saturday and Sunday, please come to Granite Con. It's gonna be rad. It's my first time back in five years? Four years. And I'm gonna be right by the autograph tables, so a couple cast members from The Terminator and also a bunch of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle people are gonna be there, like Kevin Eastman and then the four main voice actors from that. There are other guests also, but those are the ones coming to mind. Anyway, back to the project. Okay, so to construct this little bad boy, you're gonna line these up right sides together. Now I'm gonna sew all the way around these edges and leave a gap somewhere on one of the straight ends so you can flip it all right side out. If you're unsure how to tackle turning corners, you get to the intersection where you need to change direction. So you lift the presser foot up, but make sure your needle is down, and then you just pivot the fabric and continue on your way. Yay, we have a beautiful little triangle thing. I'm gonna nip some of the ends here just so there's a little less bulk going on when I turn the corners out. Here's a little corner turning trick. I have my thumb rammed inside the corner here. I'm gonna fold this over to where the stitches are and same thing on this side. And then, so you hold the folded bits with your index finger so you have a little, a little sandwich happening with your thumb and index and then you push it out this way. Now you can take scissors closed, close them, or a pen or something to push out the corners, and with something like this that seems the most helpful, and that's about as pointy as I think I'm gonna get it. And repeat that while you get the rest of this turned out. Okay, so once everything's turned out, I'm gonna do some top stitching just to keep this flat so it's not gonna tuck itself in like this. And also, because you have to close the gap, just make sure the edges are folded in on themselves like this. Here's the before of what these edges look like. And this is what it looks like after top stitching. It's magical. I know it's a pain in the ass because it's a whole extra step and it's all visible. So you really got to watch your straightness. I feel like there's some social commentary to be had there. To have the flaps facing the right way, we're going to fold all three sides of the triangle, wrong sides together and mark with a pin or chalk or whatever, the halfway point up each side like this. So I'm folding one of the edges, marking that midpoint, but also they're basically reversible. So it's not the end of the world if you have one side facing out versus the other. Okay, marking midpoints. So because I want this pink fabric on the outside, these little petals almost are gonna show the purple on top. I'm gonna use these midpoint pins to mark the center of this flap, fold it down, pin that in place, repeat for all three flaps. We're gonna stitch about half an inch down, a little bit less if you have narrower string. I wouldn't go too much wider than that, so don't use super bulky rope or something. And now I can take these side pins out so it looks like this and do those stitches on these three flaps. Oh 
look at it so far. Ah, it's so pretty. Gonna trim those threads. Why I sang that in the tune of the Pimp My Ride theme song, I'm not quite sure, but here we are. Okay, so now take these sides, fold it in half, right sides together. So the flaps are gonna be on the inside here. Pin it if you want, because these are folded over, I'm gonna start stitching here and then it's just gonna find the natural midpoint there. I'm gonna do a row stitching along here and then repeat the same for the other two edges. So yeah, you have this weird thing. And then we're gonna flip out these corners you just stitched. It's almost like a Hermione Granger bag. And now, hey, we have a cute little, almost star looking origami-ish triangle bag. As for the ribbon, I don't need this whole length, so I am gonna cut this in half. This is really flimsy ribbon. So I'm gonna do the safety pin trick where you thread it through one of the ends and can push the safety pin through the little channels I made. Okay, we get the ribbon through the thing. Very last thing, once you have your ribbon, the right length or whatever the string is. I like to put a little bead on there and then tie a knot with the beaded part. I don't know what this knot is called, like a like a half square knot. <laughs> Do that for the other side. And now you've got cute little ties for your cute little bag. And yeah, we did it. I fucking love these things. And I wish I had more tiny things to contain. Someone actually bought some to hold on to their pills in their purse because they hate having those little plastic caddies. And I thought that was a very innovative use. Neat, weird little bags. And I think these would be really cute gifts for people because I know a lot of people that have a mighty abundance of polyhedral dice and don't have them separated into sets or anything. So if they had a bunch of little bags like this, I think that would be a cool way to have the different sets of dice organized. As per previously mentioned, very anal retentive person. So organization solutions are the tits. For real, it would be super nice to see any of you at the convention I'm doing this weekend. It's gonna be a long weekend, but I'm excited to be back. Come if you can, I get it if you can't. Anything I don't sell that isn't already in my Etsy shop will be going up next week. Go give my Etsy shop a follow if you want. I'll do a video showing off whatever I'm listing. I think if any of the garments don't actually sell, I'll basically do a buyable lookbook situation. I don't know if that's a better way to show the things. Let me know what you're thinking. And I guess if you'd like to support me but don't feel like buying shit for my Etsy shop, I do have a Patreon and a coffee page if you have any interest in throwing a couple bucks that way, that would mean the world. This has been a very long week and the thing about working for yourself is you don't really get paid for the hours you're putting into things. I'm excited about things, stressed about things, and just tired but in a very good satisfied from hard work type tired, you know? It's nice. So thank you to everyone that has been supporting me. I finally got a couple sales on my Etsy shop where August was just dead. And then earlier this week, I got a custom robes order and sold some of my earrings. So that was exciting. Oh, and speaking of earrings, this is my little Totoro design. I like it so much because it has a little hollowed out tummy checks and it's just nice having a little Totoro for a sprite with you. There's only one pair of these left in my Etsy shop if you have any interest in them. Personally, love the shit out of these because I do feel like I have supportive pals hanging over both shoulders and it just feels a little more encouraging. So I do feel like I can tackle my to-do list today. Okay, I promise this is gonna be quick and I'm making it less quick by this outro. So I will see you all back here with another video on Saturday. Thank you so much for hanging out and hopefully I'll see some of you this weekend. Okay, talk soon, bye. Now you've got a little floral bag sphincter, congratulations.